show the world with their conviction. Collaborating with A and T and the I want them because I'm sorry, the head master and the entire human people for giving us this opportunity. As we all know, education is key in our society. And as our mom has said, charity brings back to life those who are spiritually dead. Education is one thing that is very, very vital in our society and at large. So thank you very much, the school management, for helping us to come here, gather these things, to talk about the need for education. Because as we all know, education never stops. Thank you very much. I want to thank the General Foundation for Children and School Day that's here to initially. We welcome you to this great institution of learning. Uh, NEA Primary School UNICEF Kutaku 1 established 40 years ago. I am the ninth health teacher in this school. Just spent barely one year and six months here already. And um, during our time, you are visiting us. Education is key. I believe that the two religions, Islam and Christianity, believe strongly in charity. Charity is love. Love and charity is religion. Loving your neighbor, being close to somebody who is close to you, nice to person, you have been able to practice what the tenets of our two religions. So I appreciate the Arab Foundation for coming here today and then the AIT too for being here to be able to uh, come to the aid of this school in terms of uh, supporting us with uh, reading materials and educational uh, materials so that to improve the standard of uh, both teaching and learning in this institution. So I appreciate you and I thank you for taking us today. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, on this note, I want to uh, uh, well, uh, invite Mr. Emeka to also please come and lend his voice to this with his own crew of, uh, uh, from the AIT. And also too, the good thing about Mr. Emeka is also a writer, he's also a publisher. So Mr. Emeka, please can you please uh, come forward at this point to talk to our beautiful children and our staff team. I love the applause. Thank you so much. And I love the applause. Now, I want to say this. When you're talking about education, you're talking about the foundation of the society. You're talking about the bedrock for development in any development in society. So you cannot take that away from progress. For instance, you people are here. You people are not somewhere else. If you were not here, Educating your minds and refreshing your minds. You have been out there doing various things you don't know. We have different problems plaguing our society today. We have banditry, we have insurgency, we have things that happen because they couldn't curb the young minds and put them to the problems. That is why we're here. We're here to give you solace. We might not come with money, but we come with a strong heart, an invincible heart. Nigeria is relying on you. Do you know why? We were like you before. We're small, but now look at us. You people are supposed to be like us. So when you're like us, what are you going to give back to your society? You have to give back care. You have to give back love. You have to give back temperance. You have to give back charity. These are things I want you people to really consider. And with not, with not much more to say, I want to bring my books I wrote. This is um, my collections of poetry called Autumnal Dust. And my producer, Mr. Andy Maliki, not a lot to produce this. So on behalf of the weekend show, I'm going to dedicate, and the Dara Foundation, I'm going to dedicate these books to your lovely school. Anytime you want to read the books, you can just come to the library, it, read it, and enlighten your mind. Anything you don't understand, any word, go to your headmaster, go to your head teacher, Mr. Haruna, he will be sure to help you out. So Mr. Haruna, I hand over you these books in the name of the Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Gloria To and I'm with Joy Ahamba. Okay, so we are here from um, Heal the World Foundation with Dara Foundation. Heal the World with Dara Foundation. And our motto is charity brings back to life to those who are spiritually dead. And okay, Dara Foundation will focus mainly on helping the less privileged providing opportunities to children who has been abandoned. We go into communities where 
the government might not really be able to reach out to. We dig schools that the government has rejected and the rest of them, and then we equip them with school materials, educate them on proper personal hygiene. A very good morning to our viewers and audience all across the world. This is The Weekend Show, your poetic interlude, and we're here in Guagualada today to actually meet students, to meet pupils, to meet children that actually are the bedrock and foundation of our Nigerian society. And with me today, I have with me the head teacher of LEA Primary School, UNICEF Kutunku. One. <laughs> so I'm going to be handing over now to the head teacher and he's going to be telling you about this wonderful institution. Uh, my name is uh, Sir Haruna Samson Ebuno, the head teacher of uh, LEA Primary School, UNICEF Kutunku. One. This school was established 40 years ago. By September last year, 2022, uh, being the head teacher here, we celebrated the 40th anniversary of the school. Uh, I think it's one of its kind in the, in the entire Guagualda uh, for a school to celebrate its uh, establishment, established uh, anniversary. And that particular occasion drew the attention of people to come and see the condition of the school and then also to tell them what we have actually achieved in the, four, in the past 40 years. Though I am a relatively new year, I've spent a year and uh, six months here already and uh, to the glory of God, we've been able to make our own impact and that is why your organization and people like you are coming to partner with us in the area of uh, supporting us with uh, materials, relevant materials in the way that you could to be able to uplift the standard of uh, education in this school. The, uh, for, for you, like this in primary five, I feel so happy. So Nancy, can you tell the government some of the things they can bring to your school so that your school can grow? Do you need a playground? Tell me some of the things you feel you want the government to bring to your school. We need the playground, all the football, the football field, yes. any other things apart. Okay. That's very nice. And she said, she said any other thing the government feels that civilized society have, I think they need and they have a right to own those things too. 